How about the Huntsville having the good guys find a way to win, courtesy of that goal by Robbie Fisher to put the good guys ahead and for good 3-2 in the SPHO President's Cup over a period. Hey, welcome in, everyone. The VBC was flat out rocking tonight, and everyone goes home happy. We toss it right back to the VBC. And sports anchor Cam Durkam, the Havoc fought, battled, and now one went away from a President's Cup. That's right, Carl. One went away. It was a hard-fought battle. I'm joined here with head coach Stuart Stephan, the victorious coach in this game. Coach, that game was a grind. They take the lead in the second period. What was your message between periods there heading into the third? Uh, I was just trying to get the guys to settle down a little bit there. I thought we lost our composure, um, you know, a little bit in the in the game there. Again, we're, we're a young team. I think we have 12 rookies in the lineup, and they're the opposite. they got 12 vets, and they just look like the calmer team there for a while there. So really second intermission, I just tried to settle the guys down and just try to give them a little bit of confidence, just like, you know, telling them, like, they're all really good hockey players. There's a reason why we're here. So it was just try to like, settle the nerves a little bit and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, get them to kind of perform the way we can. And obviously we did it come back in the third period. We knew that going in that this game was going to be physical, but to actually see it out here on the ice as physical as it was, how do you guys kind of get your bodies ready, get your minds right to go and now head into their place? Yeah, it, we, like we knew coming into this game that they were going to come out and try to be, you know, physical, and um, you know, it's kind of the way they've been the last, I don't know, like ten years or whatever. So they're always the same way, but um, you know, our guys are prepared, prepared for it, and I think we've done a really good job this year, like not, you know, getting pushed around. We always got fight back, and you know, the guys showed that. So yeah, there's a few guys probably a little banged up, but again, they just gotta, you know, recover here the next two days, and uh, you know, be ready to go on uh, what is it, Saturday night? Yeah. Rocking in here tonight, as we've mentioned, I was talking to a few fans earlier today. They said at this point they have 75 fans that they know of headed to Peoria. What does that mean to you guys that, that you have fans that are willing to make that trip? Yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, in here tonight, it was, it was so electric, so loud. Um, you know, I feel like my voice has gone a little bit just trying to, you know, just tell the guys who's up next on line changes. But, yeah, our, our, it sounds like we're going to have a lot of fans traveling up to Peoria, which is awesome. I mean, it's a long drive, so uh, to have a good fan base there will be awesome. And, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, the guys will see that and, you know, they know that people are, like, really pulling for them here. So hopefully we can get the job done there. Best of luck to you, Coach. 3 to the final. Game two on Saturday in Peoria. One went away from a President's Cup final, Carl.